So did you know that Kiddo now works on the iPad? Yes, we've been waiting for this for a long time and now it works on iPads and on tablets. So all you have to do is go uh, on kiddo.com through your browser. It doesn't, there's no special app or anything. It just works on the browser on your iPad. So that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna do a tutorial. I'm gonna do a very simple tutorial. I'm not gonna go through everything that Kiddo has. It's not a tutorial about Kiddo more so that you can use it on the iPad. So I'll show you some of the subtle differences on the iPad and how it works. And we're just gonna make a really quick t-shirt from scratch uh, using Kittle. So let's get into Kittle right now on the iPad. I'll put it right here and show you exactly what it's like. All right, so here we are on my iPad. I'm gonna try this out on Kittle. The first thing you wanna do is go to Chrome or any, any browser, but I'm gonna use Chrome. So I'm gonna click Chrome right here and we're just gonna type in Kittle. You can see I've already done it, so I'm gonna go here. And then you can just go to the Kittle website, or if you have this bookmarked already on your Chrome, then you can do that too, but you can go here, straight to the website. There's no extra app here. This is just kittle.com on a, on a browser, so it works just like you would expect it to work on a desktop. So let's do it really fast. I'm gonna go, instead of doing from a a template we're just going to start something from scratch just so you can see more things i think that would be helpful so i'm going to hit new project there and then you can see standard presets i'm going to go to pod presets and go to t-shirt right here and click create so that's all you need to do and then go to templates and um, we can use these templates if we want to but i'm going to go see uh, new projects and so on wait in fact let's go back and let me show you the artboard so i'm going to pinch here so you can see it did do the artboard 4500 by 5400 and you can make it bigger or smaller just by pinching um, with your two fingers index finger and thumb just pull it back and forth okay the next thing i want to do is color it black so the the artboard and just so because it's going to be a black t-shirt so i'm going to hit artboard and you can see i already did it's artboard selected if it's not selected you can just click on there that says artboard, change the color, and I'm gonna just hit the color here. I don't have to type it in, and I can just drag any color I want here with my finger, and I'm gonna just drag it down to black right there. So let's do that, very easy. And next thing we're gonna do is come in here and check out these different things. So we got my projects here, it's the one that I'm working on, and some other ones. I got templates here, which I could use if you wanna see that. Maybe I'll do another video, but for this one, we're just gonna do a simple one. Uh, text, I can do that. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna, I like to start with a graphic first, then add text, so we're gonna come back to text. And let's see, elements, yes. So let's go to illustration and find a cool illustration. I like the one with the ocean beach. I'm gonna hit all. Now everything works just like it does uh, on the desktop. So I can scroll up and down just using my finger right here. And I'm gonna scroll up and look for one that I like. Uh, I think there was one, with, yeah, right here with that. Um, and you can see it just pops right there, right into place. I can close this by clicking the X. I can make this bigger or smaller, uh, not that way. That makes the whole artboard bigger or smaller if you use the two. But if you use just a corner, you can do that right there. Now you can use any of these things that's new, uh, re relatively new, these top um, bar uh, menu here. I'm gonna show you that you can use erase. So let's do some erase right there. And I can zoom in and just with my finger, I'm gonna erase this. You can see it's already coming out and you can kind of do kind of like a finger painting. Uh, just take, take it out, just um, rub over it like that and boom so if that's what you want and you want to take out the whole thing you can do it like that so pretty cool really easy to do you don't need the pencil although the pencil probably gets you closer but I was just using my finger so um, zoom back out and then hit done and you're done just like that all right so um, very simple t-shirt I'm just going to add a text on here I'm gonna to go to my text, just clicked on that with my finger, and then I'm gonna hit add headline. And what I like to do is find the headline. There we go. I'm gonna make it white. And let's see where, where it kind of jumped over, didn't it? And I'm gonna make it bigger here. There we go. 
and I'm going to bring it down and zoom in here and maybe twist it a little bit to zero. There we go. Whoops. And let's call this, uh, well, we can change the, the text or the font. I'm going to do uh, Adventurer 03. That's cool. And again, if it's too big, we still have these handles that work. We can make it bigger or smaller. We can do the corner handles and bring this across. We can also change the text. I'm going to double click on it, one, two, and then hit caps lock on my keyboard and just do like surfing. So really simple here. You have all the control you need on here and can grab this again, um, zoom in grab this handle and grab this corner and just make it as big as you want. Let's say we want it that big. And then the same things work, like if you want it centered, boom, just hit that centered top right there. If you wanna duplicate this, let's do it. Duplicate, you can see it says object pasted in the front and look, the same one right there. That's all you gotta do, just really quick with your fingers. I think that's really cool that they added a lot of these things, these icons, um, really simple now, just clicking on it with your finger. So we're gonna change this one, uh, double click, one, two, and let's call this California, California. And uh, I'm gonna change the font on this one too, so double click, whoops, one, two. Uh, close this keyboard, change Adventurer to Adventurer 06, just like that. Oh, did I choose, there you go, just like that. And one thing I wanna do is I wanna kinda stretch it out. So I'm gonna stretch it out. And that's this right here, this AV. I'm going to click on here. You'll notice there's that bar. I can grab the bar too with my finger and just pull it up to like maybe 600 or so. And close it and you'll notice it did it like that. So I'm going to pull it. Boom. Center it. Boom. Look at that. Look at that really simple, cool uh, surfing t-shirt, Surfing California. I'm gonna also add textures, which you can do, anything you can do on the desktop, you can do on the iPad. So we're gonna go textures right here, and I can pick any of these textures just on the iPad with my finger. I'm gonna do, the, I like the second one here, and we're gonna do uh, clip content, just like that. And we're gonna do, uh, instead of color burn, it brings down that, and alpha mask, just like that. And you'll notice the textures right there really cool so it kind of matches this texture whoops I grabbed that by mistake I'm gonna move this here you can also center that too so let's center that everything is just centered so really cool if you want to group it I I think you can just drag and it selects all of that so just drag your finger across all of them uh, as a group and you can move it as a group up there so there you go, that's it. If I wanted to download, I could hit download here or print or do mockup, but everything that you wanna do on a desktop, you can do on your uh, iPad. So really cool, very simple design. If you wanna see me do something more complex, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can do one with a template. One thing that uh, Kittle's really strong at is the text effects as well. So if you wanna see that on the iPad, uh, let me know that. We can do a lot more iPad tutorials, but I just wanted to show you that Everything that you see on the desktop can be done with your finger on the iPad. So if I, if the iPad is your thing of choice, then yeah, you can still use Kittle now and have fun with it and create lots and lots of cool stuff. So hopefully that tutorial is really good for you. It's a real quick one. I think it's gonna be everything. If you've used Kittle before, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you haven't used Kittle before, then hopefully this tutorial is really helpful for you. But everything that you can do on there they, they haven't owed anything back. They haven't scaled anything back as far as uh, creating a design. I think you can do everything. At least that's what I've seen on, on here is that you can create everything. So let me know in the comments if you want more of this iPad tutorials for Kittle. I think it's great that they finally had it. And I think it's really cool that it's it's exactly the same. They haven't, they haven't changed anything. So if you wanna see more Kittle tutorials on how to use Kittle, I'll put my Kittle playlist right here so you can look and see all the different things that it does. They've added so many different things. You can use templates, you can use, uh, uh, there's lots of things, more than I can say in here. So thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.